Good morning, what a beautiful morning is as well, full of opportunity. And I'm heading down to my favourite horn, Seaburn. So down here today I'm going to meet up with Mark who's got some footage from a few days ago where the guys were out on their downwind boards in some very light winds. They're getting very popular those boards around here. I have had a few goes on them myself and I've quite enjoyed being on them. It certainly does make it easy to get up on coil. So there'll be some of that footage at the end of this video so keep your eyes peeled for that. As you saw Savio there is going in with his downwind board today and Grant here is just setting up. The wind is due to pick up in a little bit. We've got a cross shore wind at the moment. It's very, very light. So everyone's setting up big. I'm going medium because I know that the forecast is due to pick up. So hopefully I should be able to get going with my curve H foil. And of course, we've got a little bit of a northerly swell coming in. And the northerly swell is only two to three foot, but it should generate a kind of skate parky kind of area when it pushes over the reef. And we'll just get that little bit more swell coming in. Ross Jr's back in business after wrecking his wing on the last one, he's got himself some new niche wings, he's got a 5 and a 4 so he's out in those today. Of course I'm going to head out towards the kelp and the kelp is a place that I like to be because it's where the waves build up the most but you run the gauntlet of being taught a lesson by mother nature. I'm always taught something every time I go into the sea, without fail it's always a lesson, sometimes they're good and sometimes they're not so good and I get put in my place. But Anyway, hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in a moment. It's probably about 15 to 20 miles an hour, so we'll give it a go anyway. Maybe a foot swell. Let's have a look at that. We're going in. Come on, Grant. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that guys and uh, thanks for everybody who subscribed this week and I even got my first female subscriber so that was Kanye as well so and here's a day that Mark sent me the footage on 
And it's a very light wind here and the kite borders are out at first but they're soon uh, having to go in because it's too light wind and you just end up with the two wing foilers out. And of course you can see Mike here and he is on uh, 150 litre board. Um, it looks quite a large downwind board but he's just on a small 4.5 metre wing. Andy, he is out and he's on his uh, normal setup with a 5.5 meter wing and he's probably about 10 15 kilos lighter than mike but mike's on a much smaller wing this 4.5 meter wing so it just shows you the progression and how those downwind boards are coming on and making the sessions more accessible um, it's a very interesting side of the sport and some development there i would like to get one of these boards eventually for that upwind downwind thing and uh, it's the financial burden that's just holding me back at the moment because of course I would need a new front wing and a new mast probably at the same time to uh, be able to get the best benefit out of these downwind boards but you know I'll start saving and hopefully get one of those in the future so it's really nice to see that uh, they're getting so much uh, time on the water with these in these tiny um, wind ranges it's probably about 10 15 knots at the most on this deer and Andy you can see he's struggling to get in so it just shows you how efficient those downwind boards are so thanks for watching anyway I hope you enjoyed this one and I can't wait to see you all on the next one so good wins have a great week and thanks again to Mark for the footage take care now <laughs>